Space, the final frontier, has always captured the human imagination, pulling us toward the stars and igniting a relentless drive to explore the unknown. From the early days of stargazing to the modern era of space exploration, humanity has pushed the boundaries of technology and understanding, striving to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Among the most incredible achievements in this quest are the Voyager spacecrafts, twin probes launched by NASA over four decades ago with a mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. These spacecrafts, designed for a mission of only five years, have far exceeded their expected lifespans, continuing to send back invaluable data even as they traverse the cold, dark void of interstellar space. But now, as Voyager 1 ventures further than any human-made object has ever gone, it has encountered something truly extraordinary, an immense, monstrous object hurtling through space, defying all expectations and challenging our understanding of the universe. The discovery has scientists searching for answers as they grapple with the life implications of the mystery and what it means for Voyager 1's future journey. What was discovered near Voyager 1 and why did it alarm the scientific community? Prepare for a journey full of excitement, wonder and the unknown as we dive into this epic tale, the Voyager program, launched by NASA in the late 1970s, is considered one of the most ambitious and successful space missions in history. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, the two spacecraft launched as part of this project, were designed to study the outer planets of the solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, and then continue to interstellar space. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, just 16 days after its twin Voyager 2. Although the second launch, Voyager 1 was on a faster orbit, it was able to pass Voyager 2 will be the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space. A milestone achieved on August 25, 2012. Voyager 1 began its journey by passing Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. In April 1978, as the spacecraft approached Jupiter, it began imaging, taking detailed pictures of the planet's atmosphere. These images showed a more dynamic and complex world than anything seen before, with raging storms and swirling clouds of air. On March 5, 1979, Voyager 1 approached Jupiter, passing within 174,000 miles of the planet's surface. During the flyby, the spacecraft discovered a thin ring around Jupiter, a feature never seen before. This discovery alone was a major milestone for the NASA team back on Earth, but Voyager 1 had just begun exploring the Jovian system. As Voyager 1 continued, it passed several of Jupiter's moons, including Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. These encounters revealed fascinating new information about these celestial bodies, especially Io, one of the most powerful bodies in the solar system. The spacecraft's images show a strange, yellow-orange world full of active volcanoes that are exhausting sulfur resources into space. The discovery suggested that the oxygen and sulfur found in the region may be the result of volcanism on Io, not just the product of Jupiter's atmosphere. After a successful flyby of Jupiter, Voyager 1 discovered Saturn, the second-largest planet in the solar system. In November 1979, the spacecraft made its closest approach to Saturn, passing within 78,000 miles of the planet's surface. During the event, Voyager 1 discovered five new moons and took detailed images of Saturn's rings, revealing thousands of unique bands and mysterious structures that had puzzled scientists. One of the highlights of the flight was the spacecraft's closest visit to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Data collected during the event show that Titan's thick atmosphere is mostly nitrogen, with traces of methane and other hydrocarbons. The discovery raised the possibility that Titan may have liquid methane, or ethane, on its surface, making it one of the most Earth-like bodies in the solar system. After hitting Saturn, Voyager 1 began its long journey through the solar system. On February 14, 1990, the spacecraft turned its cameras on the Sun and captured the famous pale blue dot image, an image that shows the Earth as a tiny speck hanging in space. Taken from a distance of 3.7 billion miles, this image has become one of the most important symbols of our planet's fragility and the vastness of the universe. As Voyager 1 continues its journey, it will pass through the heliosphere, the region of space dominated by the Sun's magnetic field and solar wind, and enter the interstellar space. 
This landmark event marked the first time a human-made object traveled beyond the Sun's influence and into interstellar space. The data collected by Voyager 1 during this transit gave scientists the first insight into the nature of the interstellar medium, revealing a region full of charged particles and X-rays. Atmosphere from distant supernovae but Voyager 1's journey becomes mysterious during an observation cycle, and the spacecraft begins to return strange and disturbing data. The data appear to be randomly generated, revealing events that scientists might not expect to encounter somewhere in the middle. The source of the data was not assigned to the spacecraft's Attitude Expression and Control System, AACS, which is responsible for maintaining Voyager 1's attitude and keeping its antenna on Earth. Despite this, the spacecraft continued to operate, collecting and transmitting data, even though the telecommunications network was broken and unstable. After weeks of investigation, NASA's mission control team found the cause of the problem. Voyager 1's AACS had experienced a malfunction that caused it to begin transmitting data through a damaged computer that had been shut down. In previous years, although the data itself was correct, the transmission was corrupted by faulty software. When the problem was discovered, the Voyager 1 crew issued new instructions, telling them to return to the health computer. This simple fix restored the spacecraft's ability to transmit accurate data, but the cause of the initial failure remains a mystery. Point one theory suggests that the problem is caused by cosmic rays, high energy particles that disrupt spacecraft systems. Given the nature of interstellar space, it is possible that Voyager 1 was exposed to radiation that disrupted its systems. However, without evidence, this theory remains speculative, and the exact cause of this error is unclear. Despite these challenges, Voyager 1 continues to transmit valuable data from around the solar system. Scientists are particularly interested in studying the boundary between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium because this region holds important clues about the interaction between our solar system and the rest of the galaxy. Spacecraft observations have shown that the magnetic field in this region is much stronger than previously thought, acting as a sort of road for particles to enter and exit the heliospehere.as Voyager 1 moves into the unknown, it faces increasing risks. The spacecraft is more than 14 billion miles away from Earth, and the signals it sends take more than 22 hours. To reach our planet As electrical power decreases, mission managers try to conserve energy by turning off non-essential systems. The spacecraft is expected to remain operational until 2025, when it will no longer be responsible for returning data to Earth. Even after that time, Voyager 1 will continue its silent journey through space, leaving behind a golden record of the sounds and sights of life on Earth, a lasting message of extraterrestrial life. Meet one day with the rover.in about 300 years, Voyager 1 is expected to enter the Oort cloud, a distant region of icy bodies that mark the edge of the solar system. It would take 14,000 to 28,000 years for a spacecraft to completely cross this region and leave the Sun's influence behind. Beyond that, Voyager 1 will continue to travel the galaxy, a silent messenger for Earth, carrying information about humanity across the stars. The discovery of a mysterious object near Voyager 1 has added another layer of intrigue to this fascinating project. Scientists are eager to learn more about the object, its origin, orbit and possible impact on the spacecraft's journey. Is it a rogue planet, a fragment of a distant comet, or something more intelligent? Although, the discovery has renewed interest in the Voyager project, it is also a reminder that, even after decades of exploration, there are still many mysteries in the universe waiting to be discovered. As we await more news from Voyager 1, one thing is certain. The spacecraft's journey will continue to amaze and amaze for generations to come. Its legacy is a testament to human curiosity, ingenuity, and an abiding desire to explore the unknown. And while the mysteries of interstellar space pose challenges, they also offer opportunities for discovery that could change our understanding of the universe. As we approach the final chapters of the Voyager 1 project, we are reminded of the profound impact this spacecraft has had on our understanding of the universe. From the first encounters with the gas giants to its historic entry into interstellar space, Voyager 1 has expanded the boundaries of human knowledge, revealing new worlds and phenomena never seen before. Us
And now, venturing into the unknown and continuing to push the boundaries of what is possible, we see the vast, unknown space beyond our solar system. Voyager 1's journey is far away, and as it transmits data from the edge of the galaxy, we can imagine what new discoveries await them in the years and decades ahead. The Future